this time of year we want to be all bronzy and kind of looking suntanned but we don't want to be in the sun so i am bringing you five really affordable options to bronze up your face with bronzer and one little contour thrown in there and then i'm also doing a bonus of showing you what i use for myself tanner so let's get into that fun today on doing dupes that i know you guys love Hello friends, I'm so glad that you're here with me today because we're gonna get our bronze on, we're gonna look all tan, and we're gonna give a lot of life to our skin. So what I'm gonna show you today is some really fabulous high-end bronzers, and I'm also gonna show you what I feel like from the drugstore are just amazing dupes for those. And remember when I say dupes, it might not be the exact thing, but I'm telling you when you get it on your face, you really can't tell much of a difference. So I do want to tell you while we're doing this video that I have a numbering system that makes it very easy for you to find the products that you like. So my numbering system is one through however many products we're going to get through today. And what it will be is that product will show up on the screen and then it will have a corresponding number next to it. And then down in the description box, open that up and you will find that number and the dupe listed underneath it. And you can just click on that for easy shopping if that's what you'd like to do. Now, as far as my shirt goes today, I have on the pink version of that green shirt that I wore a couple of days ago. I absolutely love this shirt. It is so lightweight and it has the little bit of extra detail and I love that about it. I'll throw up a picture of it on someone full length so that you can see that as well. And then let me get a little bit close. I'll show you the earrings. I guess not a little bit close. We got really close. So here are the earrings. They have a little gold detailing on them and then they have kind of a marble type um, look to them, but they are super light because they are plastic or resin. And I'm really enjoying these very, very much. They're so pretty. Let's get into these dupes right now. The first one that I wanna talk about is one that actually is kind of a no brainer. Everybody kind of knows about this, but it's one that I feel like is very much worth mentioning. Now, Charlotte Tilbury has her film star duo that is a bronzing and highlighter duo. And my highlighter, unfortunately, is broken apart. I had to press it back in there. But this is kind of just a very soft bronze look. And when I'm self tanning, I actually don't use this one because as you can see right there on my finger, it just doesn't do very much. So I can actually use that for like a powder if I want to, um, just a warming up powder. So it doesn't do a lot. You can get the darker one, which would do a lot more. So my skin right now is like that light medium to medium dark right now. Just depends on the day because if I've just done my tanning, self tanning, then it's gonna be a little bit darker so this isn't quite working very well for me right now. You can kind of see it, but the one that is a dupe for it is the Essence Contouring Duo, and I've talked about this so much on my channel. I've actually hit pan on the product already. I feel like this product particular, particularly is a bit better as far as its quality. For one thing, it's a lot darker. And I love that it can be that little bit of muddy so you can use it both as a contour and a bronzer at the same time. So it's not necessarily gonna be that warmth that you get from the Charlotte Tilbury one, but you do definitely have the same product here. I think that probably Essence was trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury when they did it, but in my opinion, they did it better. So both of these come, I think I had that upside down. <laughs> so both of these come in a lighter and a darker version. This is both the lighter version, but you can get them in the darker. And this powder that is the, um, highlighter powder in both of them is a beautiful setting powder for both of them. So no matter which one you choose, you're going to get a pretty setting powder in there as well. And I actually do like to use those at times for my under eye setting powder. Now the next one I was kind of surprised about because I really just stumbled across this. I wasn't looking for it. I was just like swatching. I was like, Oh my goodness. So the Park Avenue Princess from Tarte, this is one of the most beautiful fair skin bronzers that you will come across in a very long time. It's so pretty, but it's super light. And that's one of the things that is hard while I'm self tanning is that everything seems to be just super duper light. This is a bronzer that you really can't mess up. It's just really 
easy to work with. You can build and build and it looks beautiful. And I love the powder itself. It's just soft and buttery and it just will blend in like a dream. But I did find that the Milani Sunkissed, specifically the Sunkissed one. So these are the silky matte bronzers from Milani. But Honestly, when you get in here and you start rubbing it around, you're like, oh my goodness, that's really close. And these two are close in color and they're close in the way that they blend out and how silky and lovely they are. They're both matte. And I just think that both of these are really great. So if you have either one of these, you don't need to go out and buy the other one. But I did want to give you a heads up that to me, they just act like each other so much, even texture, everything about them. Now with this one, you're going to go, Melissa, that is not like a dupe, drugstore dupe. And you're right. This is like buy this, not that type thing. Now I have a lot of these these palettes that were released around the holidays from the hour, from Hourglass, and most of them have a baked bronzer in here. And this one particularly, I'm trying to use it up. I'm trying to actually use this whole palette up, but this is a pretty bronzer. It is kind of a medium bronzer tone. I love the formula and I love the texture of these. This is kind of a reddish bronzer, which is really good when you have a cool undertone. Better to be red than orange is what I say, and I really like that about it. So that is the bronzer right there. Now, I love Laura Geller's baked bronzers, and I do feel like her bronzers are really good most of the time for people that have the cool undertone. Now, if you get into the bronzers, by the way, this one is in fair. So if you get into the bronzers that are really more along the lines of that deeper color, you're going to find more yellow in those, but this one doesn't. This one has a lot of pink in it, and when it gets swirled together, again, this one is that reddish tone to it. And again, we're talking almost identical. The Laura Geller might be a little bit more saturated, a little bit darker, but I love these. I think that this is some of the most smooth formula on a bronzer. I also really, really love that it leans that pink. I love that about it. So this is in these pans right here and these pans right here when you buy a single of them i believe they're about 54 dollars nope i lied i just looked it up and the pans of that singly by itself is actually 56 dollars they've raised their prices so many companies have done that so recently so the laura geller itself now it's not a cheap one it's 34 dollars but right now and all the time all the time on Laura Geller's website, she has sales, which are fantastic. But right now there's 30% off of this, which brings it down to $23.80. So for about $24, you're getting something that I think is better than the actual hourglass formula. So I know that that is still a little bit steep, but this pan will last you forever. I have had this and the dome has barely, barely even been rubbed off. And it just, it's wonderful. So definitely wanted to recommend that that is like a buy this, not that situation. Now the next one I'm pretty darn excited about. Lisa J on her Sephora recommendations. I love that girl. She always has the best recommendations. She talked about the Westman Atelier. I'm probably saying that wrong, but she talked about their contour stick or their bronzer sticks. And this is a product in the color Biscuit and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this. It is very easy to blend out. I tried to get some of that uh, bronzer off. It didn't work all the way, but I did try to get most of it off. So I really love the way that this blends. And look at the, the shade on it. It really is that very cool tone. So you can use it for a contour or a bronzer. But I recently did this gargantuan order at She Glam because I really want to do a full face look of She Glam for you guys. And this product from them is their Stick Contour. As far as the formula, it's identical. So you can see that this has got a little bit more warmth. That's got a little bit more cool tone. But if you're cool tone, it's great. They do have a bunch of other colors of this. So the formula itself, the way that they blend, the way how easy they are to work with is so darn close. I could not believe how close these were. And what a savings. This is a really expensive product from Westman, Westman Atelier. Very expensive, but She Glam is pennies compared to that. Everybody covets the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. 
and I don't know which color I have it in. I have it in, I still can't see. It says for fair, fair medium. So that's what I have the color in. So this is the one that is more fair and it just, everybody loves this and I get it because it's super duper easy to work with. So you can put a line down there, then you can just take your fingers, dot it in. You can dot it in however much you want to. If you want to get more, you just kind of don't blend it in as much. If you want a little bit, you blend it in more. It's a great product. It's liquid. It goes across the skin, melts in with your makeup, doesn't take off your foundation. I really like it. It's great. However, it's so dang darn expensive. I think it's $40 for this tube and you can go through one of these tubes pretty dang quick. I'm telling you. And it's, it's okay. It's great. I like how long it lasts. You put it on, it's on there all day. It's, it's beautiful. And I do have that on today, but I also have this on today. And this is from Kiko Milano, and this is the Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour. And mine is in 201, which I believe is chocolate. And I know this is not a liquid like the Charlotte Tilbury. It's not a liquid at all, but it is really, it's really a thin cream. Even though it's in this stick formula, it's a super thin cream. And so I can just start blending that out and have it blend out almost as easily and almost as prettily, is that a word, prettily, as the other one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's so nice. So I wanted to give you that this is an either or. This is not an exact dupe, but this is an either or, you know, or buy this, not that situation. I know that the Charlotte Tilbury is something very special and very different, and I get it. But if you're wanting something that is just as good, and when you put it on your skin, you really can't tell the difference, this is it. Now, let me tell you, I put the Charlotte Tilbury on this side. I used it for my contour and my bronzer and the whole nine yards, but I also put the Kiko Milano on this side. And I really don't think that you can tell much of a difference in where I've contoured, where I've bronzed up. If I hadn't told you that the Charlotte was on this side and the Kiko was on this side, I don't believe that you could have known that just by looking at me. Oh, she's got two different products on. And that's really what we're kind of talking about when we talk about dupes is once you get it on your face, it really is very, very hard to be able to tell the difference in the two. So that is all of my buy this, not that, dupes, whatever you want to call it. But I do have just a couple of things I want to tell you really quickly. These are the two products that I've been using for my, sun my self tanning. I discovered them during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. That was the Self Tan Purity Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Natural Glowing Skin. This is their bronzing water for your face. This is their face mist. And then I found out they have a bronzer water mist for the body. And this one has glow boosting vitamin C and D in it. And I was like, ooh, I like that. So when I run out of this, I feel like this is a better value because you're getting like six, I think it's six ounces or almost seven ounces in the one from that is the, for the body. And then this one is 2.7 ounces. So you're getting more than almost triple, actually, I guess you're getting. So you're getting a lot. I went through one of these in about a month because I was using it on my face, my chest, and my arms. And I just feel like it just gives a really natural, pretty, bronzed look that looks terrible because we've been doing swatches but i do like the way that it bronzes everything up my chest everything i like that so much and so these are the two products that i'm kind of defaulting to right now for self tanning however i usually go to these and this is a brand new package of the tan towels I love this because this is like no fuss tanning and I just think these are great. So tan towels was developed years and years ago. I've been using them probably for a good 20 years, maybe not quite that long, maybe more like 15, but I've been using these for a long time. And this is a full body towel and then this one is a half towel. Now I find that a half towel will do my arms, my chest, um, you know, I kind of, you know, reach around my back and then it'll do my calves up to where I'm wearing like capris or whatever. So this towel right here will do 
everything that you need it to do unless you were wanting to do where you could see where you're wearing shorts or where you're wearing tank tops then you're going to need this full body and you know if you're somebody that likes to wear a two-piece bathing suit you're going to need this anyway i also get mine i think mine are in the medium dark skin tones uh i feel like the light one didn't do anything for me so this is i believe it's the dark one but i'll link for you what you can get that way you can try them and see that if you like them or not and then get on on auto delivery if you like to do that but this is no muss no fuss the only thing i will say is that i do wear a plastic glove or a rubber glove when i'm doing these because my hand this this part of my hand can get really stained up and it can look really gnarly so i really don't like that but what i'll do is i'll just use one glove i'll do my whole body and then i will make sure i do the back of this hand then i'll take that off and then i'll make sure i do the back of this hand so make sure that you wash your hands when you're doing self tanning anyway that's a little side note so that is everything for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy watching all of my fun finds and my fun dupes. And let me know if you have any questions about self tanning or anything like that. This just makes it so, so easy to do that. So hope everyone has a great day. Tell me down in the comment section if you have a favorite bronzer, a favorite tan self tanner. I love hearing you guys' recommendations. I usually read a recommendation and then I run over and I look at it immediately and purchase it. I almost all the time do that with you guys recommendations so thanks so much for giving me those recommendations they really help me out so very much i hope that you all have a great day come back around we'll be together very soon in my next video take care of yourselves i love you so much goodbye my friends <music>